James Carafano, Lieutenant Colonel uh, with the Heritage Foundation, published a piece on FoxNews.com, General, and said the Afghan attack, uh, Afghanistan attack, a moment to take stock of what's been achieved and the work still needed. He writes, the Afghan people may be tired of war, but they have no desire to see the Taliban return, nor do they wish to see their country once more become a haven for terrorists or a platform for transnational terrorism aimed at the rest of the world. So what do, how does this affect our relationship with Afghanistan? Well, first of all, you know, our viewers should understand that Afghanistan remains a vital U.S. national interest. Why is that? Because we have been there for 18 years preventing another 9-11 attack on the United States. Afghanistan and that region of the world is the epicenter for half of the radical Islamists in the world. And we know for a fact this is not disputable that a safe haven would be established in Afghanistan by the Al-Qaeda if given the opportunity. And ISIS also is growing there. Both of them have aspirations to attack the United States or Europe. And that is why NATO is there with us. So that's the mission. It, it, has it taken too long to stabilize Afghanistan? You bet it has. Are there reasons for that and policy failures that contributed to that? You bet. But it still remains in the interest of the United States and the security of the American people to keep forces there tied to the 300,000 Afghan security forces that are fighting the Taliban.